All right, so let's take a look at the paper that you were handed out by your teacher. It's called Density Triangle Notes. All right, so at the beginning it says the formula for calculating density is D equals M over V. Now what the heck does that mean? Okay, D stands for density, M stands for mass, and V stands for volume. And if it's M over V, that's like a fraction that means mass divided by volume. Okay. To make it easier to solve, we use a density triangle, this little thing right here. But before we get into that, let's talk a little bit about how you can remember your density formula, which is density equals mass divided by volume. Okay. Um, here's your formula again, density equals mass divided by volume. How can you remember this? All right. We have a little trick. It's called I heart density. All right. And we know you love density because you're in science and we science teachers love density because we teach it. But what does this really mean? Well, take a close look at it. Okay? Look at this heart. Look at the top part of the heart right here above this line. What does that look like? To me, that looks a lot like this M over here. All right? And then on the bottom of the line, the heart looks like this, kind of a V shape, like volume. So this will help you remember that density is equal to mass over volume, I heart density. Write this on your paper right now, and um, when you write the I heart density, make sure you draw the little line through the heart so you can remember that's the um, fraction bar or the division sign, okay? I heart density. Density equals mass divided by volume. All right, so let's talk about how the triangle works. All right, so this triangle is divided into three sections, and then there's two division signs right here and a multiplication sign here. All right, so to use this, we put the variables in where they belong, okay? The density goes on the bottom left, mass goes on the top, and volume goes on the bottom right. And if you kind of look at it, it looks a little bit like the formula here, except the density's, the density's not over here on the side, it, it's still on the bottom, but then look, mass over volume, mass divided by volume, okay? So if you can put those in the, in the right place in your triangle, that will help you solve problems with it. All right, so how do we solve a problem with uh, the density triangle? So if you're trying to find the density of something, all right, and it's, the problem will give you the mass and it'll give you the volume. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to cover up the thing you're trying to find with your thumb. So if you're trying to find density, you cover up the D with your thumb and what's left in the triangle. Well, what's left is mass divided by volume. So if it's top and bottom, you're going to divide mass divided by volume. All right? Now, what if you're trying to find mass? So you're going to cover up the M with your thumb. Go ahead and do this now in your paper. And when you cover up the M with your thumb, you're left with density times volume on the bottom. They're side by side, so you're going to multiply them. Okay? All right, now what if you're trying to find volume? All right, you cover up the V with your thumb, and you're left with mass divided by density. Again, they're top and bottom, you divide. All right, so that's how the triangle works. Just cover up the one with your thumb that you're looking for, and the other two um, will be left over, will show you how, how what you need to do with those numbers, okay? So below your density triangle, let's fill in these blanks, okay? Okay, so these are the steps for using the density triangle. Let's take a look at number one. Number one says determine which value you're trying to find and blank it with your thumb. Okay, what do you do with your thumb? That's right. You cover it. Okay, so you cover the value that you're trying to find with your thumb. All right, number two says if the remaining numbers are on top and bottom, you blank. What do you do? Look at the triangle above you. What are the symbol between the top and bottom ones? That's right. It's a division symbol, so you divide if they're top and bottom. All right, then number three, if the remaining numbers are side by side, because you covered up mass, what's the symbol in between the two side by side numbers on the bottom? It's a multiplication symbol, so if they're side by side, you multiply. All right, flip your paper over, and let's take a look at number one. All right. Number one, it gives you the density, 0 0.5 grams per cubic centimeter. It wants you to find the volume because it's unknown. And it says the mass is 20 grams. All right. 
So what you're going to do on your paper right beside that is draw a density triangle. All right. Go ahead and draw your triangle, except we're going to leave leave out the the variables. Leave out the density, leave out the mass, and um, you can put the volume there because volume is what we're trying to find. So go ahead and put the V in where it belongs for volume, but leave out the M and the D, okay? Because we're going to fill those in. So what you do is you, you look at your problem and you put in the density where D is and you put the mass in where M is, okay? So what you're going to end up with is your triangle looking like this. The 20 is your mass and 0 0.5 is your density and we don't know the um, we don't know the volume so we leave V there okay so since we're trying to find volume what do we do with our thumb cover up volume okay then you look at what's left okay you've got top and bottom and you see the little division signs there so that means you divide so we're going to divide 20 divided by 0 0.5 and I know that sounds difficult you may not be very used to dividing uh, decimals, but if not, we're going to be using a calculator. So here's what we're going to enter into the calculator. Because that's what's on the triangle, we're going to enter 20 divided by 0 0.5. Okay? Because that's what it says to do in the triangle. All right, so what is 20 divided by 0 0.5? All right, if you use your calculator, you will find that 20 divided by 0 0.5 is 40. You're thinking, what? I just divided. How did it get bigger? Well, when you divide by a decimal, the number is, the quotient is going to be larger. Okay, try it both long division if you want, but it comes out correctly. All right, so our volume is equal to 40. All right, so we need to write that in as our answer. V equals 40 cubic centimeters. Volume equals 40 cubic centimeters. That's your answer. And that's how you're going to uh, answer 1, 2, and 3. All right, so use a density triangle like we just did for 2 and 3. And then um, the rest of them are word problems, 4, 5, and 6. It gives you two of the values, and then you have to find the one that's missing and use your density triangle. You can use another piece of paper if you want to, if you don't have room. All right, um, well, 4 and 5 are like that. 6, it says Gabriel found a cube of an unknown material with the measurement shown. It has a mass of 32 grams. What's its density? Well, it doesn't give you your volume. This is a cube. How do you find the volume of a cube? Did I hear you say you use a formula? Mm-hmm. What's a formula for volume? That's what you got to remember. Okay. And number eight's the same way. It's asking you, uh, it gives you the dimensions of a rectangular block. So if it helps, draw it out gives you the length, the width, and the height. Hmm, I wonder what you do with those first before you found, before you find the, the density. Well, it says find the volume first, so use the hint. All right, so solve these on your own, please.